Ever since Sony announced a new DualSense controller for the PS5 back in April, many concept creators across the web have been quick to speculate what exactly the concept will look like. And since Sony has postponed its future gaming event, which will likely be the place that we see the PS5, I thought we'd discuss some of the recent console concepts and let you know which one will probably be the end product that we see. So as you can tell from like the DualSense controller, you know, most of these concepts that I found, they have like a skin within a skin or like a skin with an armor or like with some type of outside shell. Some of them have that kind of kind of theme going on, which if you really look at the controller, you can kind of see that that kind of has that appearance. So a lot of these concepts that I'm going to go through, they typically reflect a lot of that same design from the controller. Some change it quite a bit. Some stick to like more like the PS4. Some even go like to the PS3 route. But as you'll see, most of the concepts that I found generally try to stay with that overall theme of what the controller is trying to emulate. And some of them hit the mark and some may not so much. All right, let's start with the first concept that I found, which is on PhoneMantra.com, and it's by concept creator Robo3687. So Robo3687's concept is kind of like what I talked about earlier, where it's more of like a box that has like an outside kind of shell on it that kind of emulates the controller. I'm liking the overall design of this. I, the only thing I think it may not work is most of the consoles they come out with, they are able to do horizontal and vertical as far as like their positioning flat on a surface or standing up. So I think with this particular concept, it's gonna be kind of hard to stand it up. I'm sure they could come up with some type of adapter or, you know, a vertical stand holder. But generally, I think it'd be good to have a concept that's, you know, adaptable to both types of, you know, positioning. I do like the light accent, just like the light bar across the front. Of course, it has the disc drive. There are, you know, two standard buttons right below the Sony logo. I think it's very simplistic on that front. Now I noticed that he has like kind of like a white floating piece, like right on the, on the top that maybe could be used for like air you know maybe part of the fan functionality but overall i think this would be more beneficial if it was just you know more infused together but let me know your thoughts on robo 3687's concept so the next concept i actually found on twitter and it's credit to a brian c wharton and this concept i actually really really like and it kind of perfectly emulates the controller it's almost like a perfect match as far as the overall design as far as you have like the white with like a black kind of swoop in the middle this one obviously has the same kind of concept and it actually even with like the the corner trying to triangle play I kind of look like a play button edge to the actual overall design. I really like that. I like that the black accent pieces with the PlayStation logo, pretty sure is a fan. It looks like it has like some type of grill accent going on on top of it. And I really like that. I like the white and black. It just kind of works together. There's obviously a blue accent that lights up, which kind of perfectly matches the controller. There's a slot underneath for discs. You have the buttons, the controller, USB ports. I mean, it all just aesthetically kind of flows together. And this is a console, like I said before, that could be flat or vertical. And it just overall, what I would think represents what Sony would be going for as far as a console, they are generally sleek looking. I know with the original PlayStation 3, you had like this huge bulb, you know, but once the redesign came out, it wasn't as big. I personally didn't care. I liked it. But even like the PS4, you know, they kind of start big and kind of go down. But I think this is more of like a sleek traditional look was still kind of being modern in the same sense. So let me know what you think about Brian C. Warden's concept on the PS5. So the next concept I found is from Medios.com and it's credited to a Dan Pierce. And this one was the one that kind of made me laugh a little bit because it straight up reminds me of the Wii Fit workout board. There are some things that I do like about this one. It is, it seems like it's very, very sleek. It's very, very thin compared to some of the other concepts I've seen so far. Guessing from the photo that it's maybe a lot larger than it would appear. You know, you have this kind of thin flat design, but maybe it's a lot bigger in scope. I mean, this is just a picture up close, so it's kind of hard to tell, but maybe it's more around the size of like a 17 inch laptop, maybe, maybe 18 inches. I mean, honestly, from this angle, it looks like it'd be like a pizza box, but I don't think it's that big. I do like the accent lighting. I do like the white on black. The CD slot seems kind of small, but that's why I'm thinking like, given the scope of size, it may be a lot bigger than some of the other concepts I've shown so far. But overall, I don't I don't think this is the concept they would go with. I could be wrong, but this just emulates too much we we fit board for me, and I just don't think that Sony's really gonna go for that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you think Dan Pierce's concept is more of what Sony will go for when they go through their future gaming event. Moving on, the next concept I found is on Tom's Guide, and it's credited to Concept Creator. And this is another one of those that I think kind of aesthetically matches what the controller is going for theme-wise. And this one overall is fairly simple, which I like. It doesn't have too much going on as far as color on color on color. So we have just straight white on top of black, but we do have some accent lighting and we do have some sculpting that kind of differentiates one piece to another piece. I do like this kind of cutout part that allows for the CD to go through. I do like that's where the accent lighting is. 
I do think it'd be kind of cool if it had more accent lighting. Just looking at it from the, you know, kind of flat view. Of course, when you have it on the vertical view, especially when it shows like the controller in front of it, it does kind of complement it very, very well, which I do think is kind of cool. And this is a concept I think that Sony could possibly go with even if it's not like for the initial PlayStation 5 release, maybe like a PS5 Lite, or you know, if they in the future decide to slim down the PS5 in case it is, is larger than we think it's gonna be. I think this is a really cool design, very, very sleek, very, very simple. And it's actually one I think that's production ready and ready to be go, ready to go. Let me know in the comments what you think about concept creators concept for the PS5. And the last concept I'm gonna cover is from GameRant.com and it's by the concept creator Snorin. And it's probably the one that I really like the most. And it really kind of more emulates like a gaming computer per se. Immediately what I think about is a Steam PC or like one of the PCs I've seen from Alienware, kind of like this triangulated swoop motion going on. But I really like that. And I like that the accent lighting, you know, goes along the edge and then creates this kind of ambient lighting. It just makes it super, super sleek looking. I do like also that kind of on this sloping action, you have some grills at the bottom, which could help with fan and, you know, airflow. This one of the first concepts that I've noticed that if you really look at it, it has air, you know, airflow girls all around, like on the top, on the front, on the bottom. I mean, it, it really kind of takes into account that this machine is going to be able to produce a lot of great graphics and it's going to probably tax a lot when you're playing games. So it needs some type of good airflow. So, you know, kind of sucking it in, going out. I really like that this concept creator has taken that into account and really thought about that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Snorin's concept of the PS5. All the concepts that I've talked about today, I'm gonna link in the description below, the website that I found them on, and I'm gonna credit the concept creator that made the concept. As far as which concept I think it would be production ready and possibly something close to what Sony's gonna probably announce at the future of gaming event, I think you have to go with either Dan Pierce's concept or Snorin's concept. I think that these consoles really just kind of overall have that sleek look that Sony likes to go for with their consoles, and I just really think that they kind of better emulate what the PS5 is trying to say as far as next gen console. Now, of course, none of us know what the actual console is going to look like, so all these concepts are just rumors and just kind of ideas. As of this recording, Sony has not announced a new date for its future gaming event, but know that when Sony does, we will definitely get to see if I was right. But let me know in the comments below what you think about the concepts I went over, and if you have concepts that you'd like to share, I'd love to see them down below. And that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button notification bell, and I'll see you next time on The Mashup.